Hey guys, this is Lewis from Yu-Gi-Oh! Team 8 again. Um, if you saw our new intro, you saw that a lot of the decks changed, and so did mine. I still have Light Sworns, but I've switched over to something else for the new meta. I'm doing Insectors now. Ew! Bro, Shut up, Mike. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> the Holy Trinity! But anyway... Uh, by the way, Mike is over there, Justin and Rachel over there somewhere in the couch. Woo! Jose Hughes, of course, here, and we have a friend, uh, a friend of us right here, it's called uh, Terry. It's called Say Terry. hi, say hi, Terry. Uh, I anyway. say hi, Terry. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> anyway, right. we're going to go ahead and jump right into this. Uh, I call it Insect Stun. Uh, I don't know what other different variants of Insectors there are out there, but I... I decided to go with more of a stun variant with the Thunder Kings and Veilers, which we'll see later. But anyway, let's get right into it. With it being Insectors, definitely got Triple Hornet. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's no way the deck can run without it. Also, no way the deck can run without the Triple Dragonfly. Uh, these two cards make the destruction and the speed possible. Centipede also leads lends to the speed by letting you search whenever Hornet goes off. And... Double Gigamantis, these things are good in the hand, they're good in the deck. They're good anywhere. Uh, they're not so good in the grave. Well, uh, not that. When they hit the grave, they're kind of useless to you after that point. Um, but they're they're really good. I actually may go up to three of these one day. But that's it for the Insectors. It's a relatively small group. Uh, then we have Triple Veiler. Ulti. Yeah. Uh -huh. But we got Triple Veiler. Uh, <clears throat> with the way the meta is now, Triple Veiler... Went from a side deck card to one of the best main, main deck <laughs> cards that you can have right now. And the same goes for Thunder King. You stop people from adding cards to their hands. Stop people from special summoning. This card messes with the wind-ups a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, it's saved me a good bet. A lot of it. Uh, a single Armageddon Knight. It's a single because I only have one. I want to up it to two because I sometimes find myself having troubles getting a hold of Hornet. Uh, it is a heavy graveyard control dark deck. So Dark Armed is perfect. It's a good boss monster to throw in there. It, it sees its use. And then Debris. Um, I saw a guy using this at my locals, and I kind of questioned it first. But then Debris turned around to kick my ass. And I stopped <laughs> questioning it since then. Um, all your Insectors are three stars. You pull back an Insector, Emergency Black Rose. Um, it's, I, I scrapped our feet or whatever you or need. I say, mm -hmm. uh, and with a little bit of tweaking, you can... Can't do a lot of different oh, no, no, because that's, that's a thing. It has to be a dragon. Yeah, it has, it has to, to be, be a dragon. dragon. That's true. Uh, and that's it for the monster lineup. For spells, uh, spell lineup's pretty uh, standard. Insectors don't really need specific spells. Yeah, they do. So they have triple MST. Uh, I run double Lance. Lance is a really good card, as everybody knows. You and two is a good number. You can either down your opponent's attack or protect your monsters. Uh, double duality. Um, I didn't really want to try it with three. Any other decks I've tried with three have clogged up. And that and I have Allure because they're all dark. Allure is a little bit of extra draw power to kind of compensate for the lack of the third duality. Uh, and then Staple Dark Hole, Staple Reborn, Staple Book, and almost kind of sort of Staple Foolish. It's kind uh, of the staple in this deck. Yeah, that's you, it for you, the spell You need lineup. a Foolish. Uh, and the same goes for my trap lineup. Again, mostly standard. A single Tyrannal. Uh, I've been toying around with making this two and making triple D prison into double D prison. Haven't really tried it yet. Uh, double Starlight. Uh, because the Insectors are kind of back row, you set down one Starlight and you set down and you have one of your Insectors equipped to another one and you've got Starlight's requisites. And then the Solemn Brigade. It's the Solemn Grid. So anyway. So what's in your extra deck? As far as the extra, extra deck goes, deck. the extra deck's a little lacking. Uh, mostly because it has no Zen Mage. <laughs> which <laughs> I'm not going to trade an arm and a leg and my soul to get a hold of. So the extra deck consists of uh, Chimera Tech is in here uh, for the side deck Cyber Dragon. I'm not going to really go into side deck with this right now. As we haven't, we're not going to have locals for the next few weeks. So I have time to work on the side deck. Uh, Grinosaurus, mm -hmm. three star, can do an easy 2,000 damage on top of whatever battle damage it does. It's pretty good. Acid Golem, instant 3,000 beater. Uh, can cause a heavy, heavy price. Can sometimes lose your games if you're not careful. But <laughs> Yeah, it's not his fault. But 3,000 beater out of nowhere can't beat that. And 
double Leviathan. Uh, it's pretty much standard rank 3. I wish I had the Levier, uh, a single Levier. Probably wouldn't go into it too much depending on the matchup, but, you know, it could be useful. And that's it for the Exceeds pretty much. Uh, then I have Mistworm, uh, Scrap Dragon, Double Stardust because of the Starlight Roads, uh, Black Rose, or, yeah, Black Rose. Uh, like I said, with Debris Dragon, you can Insta Black Rose Boom and it can get you out of some stuff. And Brio and Catastor. Uh, with, I mean, it's kind of hard to do five stars. Um, it's kind of hard to do, I don't know, with the Veilers you can sink and toy around a bit. I don't really find myself sinking much, but I have extra deck room space, so they might as well be there if the situation should ever arise. Mm -hmm. But that's pretty much it for the deck, guys. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think with actually constructive criticism <laughs> uh, and that's all Thank guys peace out